Hey guys, I'm back. And, uh, well, we had a Comic Con happen. And, uh, I might do a little piece on that in this video. Just, you know, I'll work my way to it. But, uh, I was kind of thinking, you know, I haven't really done a DC video. You know, like, uh, most people probably think I hate DC. Even though my first video was, uh, Green Lantern, uh, comic book haul sort of thing like the last video I did was kind of hating on the DC cinematic universe <clears throat> which especially like if you look at my background you probably assume I'm just a Marvel fanboy <clears throat> which I do lean more towards Marvel but uh I do like DC a lot like a uh, our topic today injustice um, you know, the second one's coming out, and I am just super excited. Like, I even wore my DC-centric t-shirt just, you know, for the occasion. But, um, that's not important. But, yeah, we're gonna have a... I'm excited because we're gonna have Atrocitus with the added little bonus of a Dex Star, kind of like as a helper. We're gonna have, uh, Blue Beetle, uh... Gorilla Grodd, Supergirl, I'm just super excited for this, and we don't even know who else is going to be in there, it's it, like, mine's like exploding with excitement, it's like, like who else could we have, like we could have Dark Side, uh, The Question, because we have multiple people that wear uh, hats, so we could have like The Question, Maybe the Riddler, but I don't think he's much of a fighter. He would just, like, be dead. So, uh, I'm sure we're going to have a few repeats, like the Flash, Green Arrow. Uh, uh, we're going to have Wonder Woman. Uh, maybe Cyborg. So, I don't, I don't know. We're going to have Aquaman, of course. So yeah, we're definitely going to have a few repeats. So we, I mean, you have to have the classics. I mean, who else could we have? Uh, uh, hmm. That's a, it's just my main thing. Dark side, I mean. If you look at, we could have Firestorm. There's multiple possibilities. We gotta have the Joker again. We had uh, Doctor Fate as a possibility. Beast Boy would be pretty cool, especially because uh, like if you go to like maybe some of the comments like on some of the really old videos for the first Injustice, and you like, if we're lucky, we could get some uh, requests. Like we had Beast Boy, uh, Starfire was a request, so we could get those guys. Uh, hmm, yeah. We had Shazam. But, uh, yeah, M M Metallo. Metallo would be pretty cool. Uh, maybe Brainiac. I don't, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, if you guys, uh, well, I guess we're not done with this topic. But if you guys have any... Uh, suggestions on who you think is going to be in there, just pop a comment in the comment section and we'll talk about it. Now on to a small little, I don't want to do a huge thing on it, just San Diego Comic Con. What did I think of it even though I wasn't there because I'm 15 and I can't really go to Comic Con. But what did I think about what I heard? Well, Marvel was kind of boring. We just had a bunch of, you know, stuff we already know about. I'm sorry about my dog, if you can hear that. But, uh, we pretty much just had some confirmation. We had a Luke Cage trailer, Doctor Strange trailer, uh, maybe a Captain Marvel trailer, I think. Uh, I don't know what happened with Captain Marvel. I know we just had, a, like, a cast, like, who Captain Marvel was, you know, uh, Iron Fist trailer. Um, a small little Defenders teaser with 
you know, Nirvana. That was pretty cool. Uh, I'm not like I'm not like a huge Nirvana fan or anything. I just you know thought that was kind of cool. But uh, yeah, so Marvel was kind of boring. Some Spider-Man Homecoming stuff. That was kind of neat. Uh, but the main thing that everybody was just blowing their brains out over was DC with the Justice League and Wonder Woman trailer. Uh, uh, Wonder Woman, I'm kind of like, uh, looks pretty cool. Justice League, uh, uh, again, it looks neat. There were some funny moments in there. But, uh, and I know we already talked about this last video, so I'm not going to go on a huge thing about it. But, since we already have this established world of uh, dark and gritty, then it's going to kind of feel out of place to have like a light-hearted movie. Like, and unless you just have The Flash make his jokes and everybody else is serious. Or, I mean, to be fair, the only people we, we know are dark are Batman and Superman so we could have the rest of the league be happy and the rest and the other Batman and Superman be dark and brooding I mean to me it's kind of like the amazing Spider-Man all over again you know you had the first movie be really dark and then the second one goes light and down so uh I don't know that's just my opinion on it and uh yeah, comment down below your opinions and thoughts, and thanks for watching. Peace.